Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieda with On Call Compliance Solutions and another compliance tip of the week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800171 Control 3.1.19, encrypt CUI on mobile devices and mobile computing platforms. So, uh, you know, this is a big one because it causes a lot of IT managers a big nightmare. Uh, but we'll read through a sample answer and uh, again, I cover a couple of scenarios in here and then we'll talk a little bit more about that. So, one, sample answer, IT policy mandates that all connected devices that are part of the mobile device organizational unit, uh, that's, that'll be our, our sort of delineator there, uh, have BitLocker in FIPS mode turned on per group policy. So now we're leveraging a group policy applied to those people in a certain organizational unit in Active Directory, uh, enforcing encryption on those devices. Accessing uh, access to CUI is restricted by OU and security group and all devices able to access CUI also have the BitLocker group policy enforced. So in this, this would be an example if everybody's, uh, you know, not just mobile devices, but every computer is encrypted. Uh, really not a big deal to do that. Uh, mobile devices that are company owned and authorized to access CUI are verified by IT to have encryption turned on for all storage mediums connected. So in other words, if we're gonna have a mobile device and it can access CUI, uh, it's got to go through IT's hands first, and then uh, they're going to, um, you know, they're going to be uh, making sure that that's uh, encrypted properly, either from the factory or with an aftermarket solution. Lots of them out there uh, to make sure that it's encrypted. So, uh, why is this so important? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one, if you got a mobile device, it's most likely to be stolen. If it's a desktop in an office environment, probably least likely to be stolen. But Laptops get stolen all the time. UPS loses them, you name it, not hitting on UPS specifically, FedEx, hey, whatever. Uh, these things get lost in shipping. So when that happens, it's super easy if it's not encrypted. Two screws, pop out the hard drive, stick it into a USB adapter, and you're at the data. If it's encrypted, that's impossible, So, or at least very tough. So again, they mandate, look, if this, if this device is gonna hold CUI, uh, and it's mobile and it's easy to lose, well, then we really need to be able to protect it at a higher level than uh, you know, just a simple password that can easily be uh, you know, kind of you know, avoided by plugging it into another system via USB, uh, how we used to transfer things to old computers. So uh, that's the reason why. Now, why is it so difficult for IT managers? One is you, know, you, you have a variety of different kinds of devices, mobile devices, computers, et cetera. So it can be challenging to figure out a sort of all-encompassing policy. And in fact, a lot of times, you really can't do an all-encompassing policy. You may have to cover part of it by group policy, part of it by making people check devices into the IT department. Uh, but one way or another, it, it is one of the rules, and there is a very good reason, okay? We don't want someone to just be able to pick up a device and exfiltrate the data. So uh, it, this is a good one, and there is really a lot of good reasoning behind it. Fortunately, nowadays, a lot of new laptops come with these built-in TPM or encryption chips, and it just makes the whole job of protecting the computer much easier. So hey, if you're if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, you're struggling maybe to figure out how to how to implement some of these policies, you're trying to get NIST SP800171 or CMMC uh, ready on your own, and you're looking for some help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171Compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to make it make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help. Self-schedule time at your convenience with uh, one of our compliance experts through any form on the website to learn more about our completely done for you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. Sometimes I like to screw up the wording just to see if anybody's paying attention. I'm just kidding. Drop me a comment below if you heard that. Hey, love the content we're putting out for you. Help us out, give us a big thumbs up on that like button and uh, smash the subscribe button and I'll try to make even more mistakes next time. More importantly though, uh, you know, it's a great way to stay tuned and get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. You know they love doing that. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification everybody's gonna have to go through eventually. And until next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there. Hit us up in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. And I'll see you on the next one.